my research in batteries, I've looked into novel electrodes, looked into educational resources, and now working on the physical processing for recycling lithium ion batteries. This is an issue that we need to start thinking about now before we have so many batteries that end of their life and we're like, what do we do with them? And the challenge comes from actually, how do we get these important critical materials out to be able to use again in new batteries? So I nominated Lizzie for the Faraday Institution STEM Outreach Award because she's been really inspirational in terms of her outreach work. She's developed a range of resources that are widely used and generally she's shown an unflinching desire to sort of bring on the next generation of researchers. Outreach for me is a chance for me to explain my research in various different creative ways to different audiences, so from school kids to the wider public that are not from a scientific background. I really enjoy it. I think it's it's the light bulb moments, it's a chance to be creative. She's brought lots of different ideas to our science curriculum. It's upskilled the teachers. The children can be practical and hands-on, which is what we really want within our science at this school. I'm making sure that the children know that anybody could become a scientist because science is for everyone. I think it is definitely important to bring the sort of science that we do as researchers into the classroom. Yeah, we're a scientist, but what do we do? And it's not just sort of hidden away and actually being out there for the children to see. I think that's quite powerful. You get to use your hands and you get to do experiments. It's probably one of the most fun about all the lessons I do. Outreach is really important. Like I think for me, it's maybe more of a well-rounded scientist. And I think it's that, it's having those sort of softer skills, the creativity, and maybe we can inspire the next generation. So there's multiple reasons why I do it. Main thing, it's fun and it can be creative.